NVIDIA has some huge news that we all missed during Christmas. They added binaries for instant NGP. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. So if I bring up the GitHub repo, you'll see that they said Christmas present, Windows binary release. Happy face. What does that mean? That means you no longer have to compile all the code. So let's give it a try. I have only done this once, but so if you go to the instant NGP GitHub repository and you just type in instant NGP on the Google, you'll find it. And you go down here, you'll see the added Windows binary release. This is amazing. Just pick the release that matches the GPU you have. I have a RTX 3090 Ti. So I'm gonna pick this one and it's going to download a zip folder. Pretty easy. I'm just gonna put it in my downloads to make this easy. Now, if I do, while it's downloading, I go back to their commits. You see, not only did they add binary releases, they added a bunch of, bunch of other things. They added, um, or at least they, they added a bunch of fixes and some drag and drop functionality and a bunch of little improvements. So we're gonna, we're gonna check that out. All right, so it looks like we're done. I have this folder here that um, downloaded. Uh, I'm gonna extract it all. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna call it instant NGP binary because it's much shorter. Hit extract. Again, I'm gonna put my downloads folder. So now we're special. Okay, there we go. Now I'm in the folder. And the first thing I noticed there's a .exe right there, instant NGP. What happens if I double click on it? It's gonna ask my windows protected. I can hit more info and run anyways. Probably gonna have to do the same. And it should bring up. Awesome. Look, so already instant NGP is working right here. There's nothing loaded in there. That's fine. Uh, then, okay, so if I go here, I wanna put a, a nerf in there. I can drag and drop now if it's been pre-trained. So let me just go to the data folder. We have nerf, the fox folder. And I'm just gonna drag, drag that Fox folder in there and bam, we're training the Fox demo that comes with this. That's it. What was that? Download to my first Nerf being trained, seconds. I was even taking my time. So that looks cool. I mean, that looks really good. What if that isn't in the subfolder I had for Nerf? Good question. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna restart the instant NGP here. Bam. I'm going to go to my folders here and I'm going to find one that I have a, an old nerf into. So, so if I go here, I have an instant NGP folder um, with a, a release that was probably about a month old and I go to the data. Um, let's see here. My, my son did a, <clears throat> a really fun one with me. So we're just going to use that one again. I'm just going to drag that in. This one I did using the Record 3D app. See here, and we're instantly training. So look at that. Two nerfs in a row. This is actually the desk I'm standing at right here. And that's not even in the instant NGP folder that I just downloaded extracted. So there we go, we're making nerfs instantly. So that's really exciting. If I do go over here, you, you got all the same controls I see. They say you don't have access to the to the Python binaries. If you're a creator, you may or may not care about that. If you're a scientist, you really may care about that, but basically you can't modify things, but you can run the GUI, you can train data, you can export videos, um, and that's cool. So let's just make a quick animation of this one as well. See if there's anything new here. So I should be able just to say, um, add from cam, move it over here, add from cam, move it down here add from cam and so forth. So now I got kind of a little path, add one more. What else can you do? Camera path time. So again, you can you can change the time between, the, or you can go through the camera tap path. Looks like this looks slightly improved from I last did it. Your autoplay speed. So now you can see it animated. I pull this further down. You see that changing. What else do we have? Aperture size, all this seems the same. You can do even glow mode still on there. All of that, that you can add into your, your camera. Um, and oh, look at this, there's a whole entire render video button. So that's new as well. So we could call this, oh, my son's Gavin. So we can call him the Gavin.mp4. I have no idea where this is gonna go. 1920 by 1080 duration. Sure, five seconds, be quick. 
Let's make this 30 frames per second. Actually, 24. We'll make this go quick. And just leave a quality 10. Ooh, that's new. I don't know any of this stuff. Shutter fraction. Works for me. Hit render video. We'll see what happens. Looks like it's already rendering the frames. I don't know where this is going. So let's check it out. Um, I'm just going to try the instant NGP binary folder. I'm guessing it didn't go here, but I see the temp folder. So there's the images. Um, it could be going there or it could be going where I found the source. So I'm going to fast forward this video and you're going to see where it ended up and see what the video looks like. Okay, it looks like it's just about done. And I could have boarded rendering midway as well, which is kind of cool. And it seems to be done. I have no idea where it went. So let's take a quick look. If I go to the binary folder, uh, there it is at the root of the binary folder that I downloaded and it's gonna play. Didn't take more than a couple minutes to render that on my GPU. This is making everything so easy for creators. You no longer have to do anything special unless they happen to be on a non Windows machine. This is incredible. Okay, so there it is. There is the binary release version of Instant NGP. I'm really excited about what this means for people. Uh, you can start iterating, but again, you're not able to hack the Python binaries, but I think that's gonna be okay for most of you guys. If you have questions, you wanna try it out, show me what you make. This is getting super easy for people. Now let's see your nerfs.